<laughs> Hello everyone, this is Swift and this is Project Genome. I wanted to do a quick overview of this early access game that is on Steam and maybe do a little quick walkthrough. Uh, I've been playing this one for a little while and got a character up to 13. There's not a lot of customization in the game yet. It has a lot to work on, but it does have a lot of great little features in it. It is a sci-fi futuristic uh, game where you are fighting, you know, some infestation that's come to the planet or a planet. You could use various types of weapons, armaments to outfit your character as well as spin points in those particular areas to beef up the stats that you get out of those equipments. Now with that said, it's not a tab target locking system like most other games. Uh, it does require you to actually use your reticle and point to where you want to shoot. More like a Battlefield or Call of Duty type of shooter, but it's not PvP, it's more PvE. Uh, now, this here is your spec loadout. A lot of this is non-functional right now. Uh, or at least I have not gotten to the level to which we can use it, but it still gives us the general idea on what we can do and how we can change it based on these other things. Uh, as you can see, I just don't have, uh, I have, th I'm level 13. <laughs> I'm a human. I don't have any mutant points. My name, my Sith is right there. Uh, these don't work just yet. So I don't think I have any. Uh, crafting you can craft weapons and armor see it's test crafting crafting is not even in yet um, let's see equipment there's nothing in here yet I don't think that we can actually do right now I but this see is verify this yeah it is our weapons and our armor but one of the great things about the system is that it is so large that you can just about do whatever you want if you wanted to do pistols you can you go down this tree of abilities and as you can see it spider webs out to a very large set of abilities that you can do uh, so this is pistols this is I think this are, these are heavy weapons these are staffs these are blades these are sniper rifles uh, which you got to be level 15 before you can use it. Uh, this is shotgun. Uh, so far, I prefer the uh, just not a shotgun. It's a uh, <laughs> assault rifle over the pistol uh, because it does more damage. But there comes a point when you use one or both. Now, these do level up on use independently. So as you use the weapons, it gets its own experience, and then you use them based on your unlocks so if you uh so you can see if i unlock this one you can get the first level that has 10 points to your ammo that has 20 points to your max ammo and so on and as you go through the skill trees it costs more and more points uh like this one says seven assault rifle points 515 uh, that seems like a bit much. I don't think it's actually that much. Uh, but again, this is in our early access. Uh, so a lot of this stuff has not been fleshed out just yet. Uh, if we look at armor, you have several types of armor as well. You have uh, a light armor, which is called uh, tactical armor. You have... A little bit more heavier medium armor called commando. Then you have, you know, the tankish armor, which is assault armor. And these other ones are not in yet. But I believe you can actually get into max at a certain point, which would be really cool. Uh, some of the abilities, you know, if we look at some of the armor sets on the character you'll see like it has to do with armor the shield energy and the weight so you do have a shield around you that is generated that has to get absorbed or damage has to exceed its amount so that you can before you start taking damage 
and you can blend the armor types that you want. So, uh, let's see, this is an assault armor or assault tactical armor, so I have the light and the tank armor intermixed. Uh, as well as there's my assault rifle and my pistol and you see that you know you have limited inventory space for weapons but your weapons and your armor are in different things so it's not all one inventory you also uh, will see here like in certain types of armor require certain requirements like not just level requirements but the number of points in those skill sets so this tactical will require me to have tactical level 9 in order to get armor with these bonuses whereas I could actually put this on now since I have assault level 6 and I have a green head <laughs> uh, so I need tactic 6 in order to actually get these legs what is my tactic armor oops I want to armor so tactical one two three four see I don't have five yet I need 13 points in armor points so you get two sets of experience points you get an overall armor set of experience but then you get specific armor type experience as it's used so if you take more damage on your assault pieces your assault pieces get more experience and if you get more damage on your tactical you get more experience that way at least that's what I've seen in the playthroughs that I have been doing uh, that's just the basic inventory of all this stuff that you find uh, and that really is about it uh, the map system it is in the works a lot of it is kind of iffy uh, a lot of things don't show up on the map uh, when you select them or you say show on map or current position if you go to say in the journal and you were going to look at it we put show on map it doesn't really show you where it's at it does show you some of the main stories but not the side quest uh, you can look around parts of the map but not the full spectrum of the map you can zoom in to a certain extent uh, one of the downsides to the map system is how it's laid out because you can't tell depth very well how many different floors there are because if you didn't know better you wouldn't see that there are like four different floors in this one area especially if you are all the way out like this you'd actually have to zoom in really far to see you know that there is a subfloor right there then there's a floor here there's another floor and then you have yet another one that comes up over here and it ramps up without actually running it and you wouldn't know that it was there uh, we'll go over here and we'll look at some of the uh, creatures that are in this game uh, let's see this will probably be the, the closest to where I am at right now <clears throat> uh, it's very responsive uh, they've gotten rid of some issues they had with lag that made it difficult to do and there is no f currently there's no fall damage unless they put it in since the last time I played but there is supposed to be fall damage added later Alright, so this is our pistol. Some of the effects of the pistols are pretty neat. Uh, R to reload. It was. So you hit the right mouse to zoom in. And. Some of the effects are really cool. That guy's all red. All right, so I want what was it? Can't remember the key to uh, change my weapon. 
Diddle? Tab? No. There we go. Alright, so this is the assault rifle. It's a semi automatic, depending on which ones you get. Uh, the new auto reloads. Uh, it's pretty responsive. I, I really like how responsive it is. You can pretty much run forever right now. Uh, there is no kill stealing that I'm aware of. You get experience for assisting kills. Uh, he's level 18. Which is cool. Uh, you can ride ATVs. Uh, you can see them in the market. And I will run in there and show you real fast. You do have these little ammo points. You just go up, go up there, click it, and you get a full set of ammo, which is pretty nice. I don't know if they're going to take that out later. Uh, because that seems kind of like an exploit, really, in my opinion. And right now there is not a, a limit on the amount of running you can do. So, uh, that's my quick little 10 minute overview of Project Geno. It's shaping up to be quite the game. Uh, still has a lot of things uh, to work on, but it is shaping up pretty good. One of the things I want to note that I thought was pretty neat is how the body tracks to where you're, sh you're pointing. It will actually rotate and then flip around really well and it's very responsive. It's really neat to be running and then shooting behind you for that type of effect. <coughs> okay, so figured it out that it's uh, the mouse wheel <laughs> oh yeah to change your weapon on the fly okay so oh there you are whatever I was taking damage I think this is one that I will be playing it is you know an MMO sci-fi and and I do enjoy a good MMO and a sci-fi game at that because it's just cool to be running around in the mech and riding these little things, which I think you can do at a later level, which would be pretty awesome. Uh, let's see. Can, is this working? Uh, if you uh, do not have your weapons equipped, you will run faster, of course, which makes sense. All right, let's go in here real fast and show you the city. I know I said I was going to stop it a minute ago, but I just wanted to go in and show you the city real fast. Because it, it, it's a pretty good city. Yeah, don't mess with that guy. Here we go. Uh, let's see, turrets. Not a lot of people on the night. Right, so this is the Ark. Okay, this is just a bunch of shops here. This guy cracks me up. Alpha content. These guys are funny. Uh, yeah, and there's some issues with the quest where they don't show up in the logs they don't show up on the map so it's really hard to find some things uh, that is the bar there's some patrons of the bar it does take a little while getting used to how this place is laid out here are some uh, vehicles some ATVs some scooters for lack of uh, another word for them uh, that you will be able to use as transports. Uh, then there's the medical bay over here, which is hey, the T-Rex. Nope, it's just a fish. Look, a T-Rex. 
I don't know my dinosaurs. Uh, the medical bay is actually pretty neat. You can come in here. Uh, you have quests in here to do different things uh, and help people. One of the funniest quests I think I uh, found so far is you find some guy's prosthetic leg and you decide either, to either give it back to him or sell it to somebody else, which is pretty hilarious. Uh, and they still have their Halloween content on, looks like. Uh, let's see. And here are some of the mechs that I believe you can wear the suits at a later date. I don't, I'm not at a sufficient level to do that yet. And I don't think there actually are in the system. But when they do come out, they are going to be pretty awesome. See, like these little, almost like day after tomorrow type of exosuits that you can wear. Was that a pumpkin? That, that is a pumpkin. That's funny. Uh, okay, and down here is like the main uh, area where you get a lot of your main story quest and a weapon armory that you get stuff from the quartermaster. Okay, thanks for uh, watching this video and if you liked it, please leave a like below and consider subscribing so as I will have some more of these videos later as this game progresses. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.